Hello everybody, this is Janice and I'm coming to you from inside of a box. <laughs> I'm getting ready to do some spraying here and I've got tons of boxes left from Christmas so I'm going to use them to do some misting. Um, I made one of these books, again this is inspired by Heidi Swap. I took a, a um, just a regular size office or what is it, letter size? Not the big long manila folders, just the regular typical manila folders. And I cut it into thirds. Um, let's see, what is this measure? It's three and three quarters wide. And so I cut, it, it turned out to be three of them. Yeah. And then I stacked them together. So see, they're all stacked together and then I put some holes and I sewed them together to make one of these Heidi Swap type little mini books that go inside of my file folder system thing. I bought some color washes from Blitzy when they were on Blitzy. I'm going to get some more because I like them. I actually got these for Christmas. So I got these colors. So I am going to do, I wish I had a green. What I do have that is green is the fireworks. So I'm going to do the fireworks one. This one is called Bamboo Leaves. This is by Sukaneko. And um, this one's got shimmer. These um, color wash ones don't have any shimmer. So, but these, the... The shimmer settles at the bottom. I haven't used this in a long time. I barely use them. I'm really trying to get into this whole spritzing thing. So anyway, um, Heidi Swap has these things and these different elements that you can buy, and they you can they have embossing on them, so that when you ink them with anything, the embossing resists. And so then it comes up. Now, because this is on manila folder, I really wanted it to be white. So I just used, instead of using clear, I wanted the embossing to be white. So instead of using clear, I used white embossing folder, or white embossing powder. Okay. So it's almost, it's almost all dissolved here, but... I didn't really want you to see me shaking. See, I've never used this one. So, let's go ahead and hit this thing. This is a very light green. But I like it. Okay, and then we want to do this one. But I don't want that back one to be green. So, I'm going to open it up. Have it and then we need is a paper towel or something to wipe it up off of it's beating up on the embossing. So um, I have any paper towels here nearby. So I'm just gonna quickly just use a baby wipe and just sop up all that extra color. And then we're going to turn the page and we're going to do the next page, which is, now what I did, I forgot to mention this, I just took a bunch of letters and I made my own background stamp of alphabets. If you remember, I mentioned I wished I had a letters embossing folder, <clears throat> but I don't, so I used some letter stamps. I've also used my distress ink and done some distressing, and then it would resist. Now I did get some green on this, but again, we're being kind of free. Let's go back to the red. This is so you can see the color wash. We can do it very subtle, or we can just do a complete, you know, completely saturated. 
look, let's just heat it, hit it, oops, hit it with the heat tool. more pages actually. So what do I have? I have red, blue, green. Red, blue. The blue is the, the stuff, the fireworks. I don't know where the dark, oh here it is. And again it has to be shaken but this one I just used a few moments ago, so it's not as, it won't take as long, so see. And this with the blue. And maybe not as much at the bottom, just. kind of look like leaves and again that quickly it settled but see that quickly it just mixed up again we got a little bit of blue from the other page there but that's okay that's my new theme that's okay just so that it looks purposeful. on top of the embossing.
cleaning off the embossing. Okay, and then now this whole thing is ready to go inside my little book or my file book. And then I can start really scrapbooking it. show you what I have so far. Okay. Yikes. Sorry about that. Let me move all this stuff. Okay, so um, I'm thinking about putting it here. Maybe. I don't want to put it here because I want to do a lot of scrapbooking right there. And I don't want to put it here because I don't want it to touch this side. I want to do a whole page there. And I don't want to take up all of that. And this might be too small, but actually might work. I could maybe do the back of that. I want this whole page here, or I could put it here. It'll fit here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add it. This book is really thick. I'm going to make sure that this closes, and it does. So I'll put it towards the top. I'm going to put some really strong adhesive. I'm going to use this here. It's like score tape, sort of, but it's from Scrap Mart. I'm going to go really straight up to the top here. It was a dollar at the Scrapbook Expo. If you've never been, you should find out where your your expo is going to be. It goes all over the country. And you get really nice products. It used to be that they had good deals. Honestly, uh, I don't know. Unless this year is going to be different. The deals have really not been there. But it's just fun. For me, it's just something I look forward to. Ours in Orlando is in May. I think... Robin said the first weekend in May. So I gotta make sure I put that in my calendar. Just go to scrapbookexpo.com and you'll be able to see the schedule. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that right here. Let's do it this way. So we make sure it closes. Let's do it that way. And now we've got little flaps here. Cool. And that's it. And then this one I'm gonna cut down because it's all oh, that dry that's not really it's two pages still. So yeah, I've got a lot of pages and flaps in this book. So there it is, all nice and closed. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started and add some pictures and things to it. So thanks for watching. Bye!